According to new reports from Education Week, more than 41 million students are affected by school closures in 39 states. Daniel Gade is a professor at American University in Washington, D.C., where students have been notified that their classes will be virtual for the rest of the spring semester. He joins us now. Thank you again for joining us this morning. Good morning, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. So school closures are affecting more than just universities. According to Education Weekly, over 40,000 K through 12 schools have been temporarily closed. How will this impact students, especially as they're supposed to head into a new school year around August or September? Well, you know, it's going to be a huge impact. The uh, parents are having to learn to homeschool on the fly, which is not easy. My wife and I have been homeschooling our own children for many years. and. It's not easy, and so parents are having to learn how to do that on the fly. And around around Virginia and around the rest of the states, you, uh, there's just you know the economic impacts of having people having to stay home with their kids instead of having to or being able to go to work. Um, all of those are are huge. So it's definitely going to be a huge impact. And we understand that, particularly in the case of American University, an initial announcement went out stating that students would have three weeks of online classes following spring break. But now that has since changed and the rest of the semester will transition to online. What kind of changes will students need to make to keep up with online classes during the closures? Well, the university has been great with me and with the other professors about helping us get set up for the semester, helping us get set up or for the rest of the semester for teaching online. And uh, American is very well positioned to have a successful rest of the semester despite the hardship. So I'm really proud of the university for the for the work that it's done. And, you know, it's, it's, it has a lot of resources, and so it's able to do uh, that. And the students are the students are resilient. They'll be fine. Um, most of them have gone home. The dorms have been cleared out or are will be by the end of next week. So, uh, you know, we're in a position where we're all discovering new things together. And I think the most important thing here, uh, Stephanie, is to remember that Americans are resilient, and we can do these kinds of things together. We can learn together and uh, just keep our heads, you know, keep cool and continue to uh, do our work. Do you think that taking these drastic steps is helpful in preventing the further spread of the virus? Well, yeah, you know, the CDC has been pretty clear that that's necessary. I'll, I'll say this, that it's better to take some drastic steps and prevent the spread than to not take those and wish we had, you know, so um, I, I'm, I'm, my family and I are, are socially isolating, and we didn't talk about this earlier, but I'm a candidate for the United States Senate here in Virginia. You can go to at uh, Gade for Virginia on Facebook. And um, and so we've taken the cam the campaign is basically online now, and that's fine. You know, we're all, we're out of a abundance of caution. We're being really, really careful about this. And I think it's, I think it'll be fine for um, most Americans. And thankfully we have technology to sort of keep up with everything that's going on and communicate with other people, whether it's virtual meetings, et cetera. But what sort of advice do you have for students who are struggling with this transition? Well, you know, don't be afraid to reach out for help. You know, there, there are a lot of people who are under a lot of stress right now. And don't be afraid to reach out to a mental health provider if you're, if you're having some concern or a pastor or a friend. And then the other piece of that is, even if you're not struggling, I think you should reach out to other people and and make those calls, write those letters that you've that you've sort of been putting off for years, um, and just be be as connected as possible during this time, and, and reach out to people who are lonely. and And I think that's the right approach. That that's the American approach. You know, we can do thing, we can do hard things together, and so let's just do this. Let's get through this, and uh, and continue to thrive as a, as a country. Daniel Gay, thank you so much again for your time, and best of luck with this new thank you, transition. Stephanie. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.